All right. So let's take a look at how some of our Super Eagles players performed during the week. These are players who were in action from Monday to Thursday. Before we take off, please make sure to like and subscribe. Very important. Thank you very much. And we start on Monday with Semi Ajayi and West Brom taking on Swansea. Match ended 2-0 in favor of Swansea. Not the best result for Semi Ajayi and his boys. 90 minutes played in the game by Semi Ajayi. 48 touches of the ball. He completed 30 out of the 35 passes he attempted, and that was for 86%. He lost his only aerial duel, but made a key pass and also made six clearances in the game. West Brom right now sit at 13th on the log. Not the best position for a team trying to make it back into the EPL, but... Sammy Ajayi getting 90 minutes under his belt is definitely good for the Super Eagles. Next, we move to a match played on Tuesday. Burnley hosting Leicester City. And as we know, Leicester City packed with Super Eagles players. We'll start with Wilfred and Diddy, who played 90 minutes in that game, which Leicester City won by two goals to nil, by the way. Had 83 touches of the ball. Completed 42 out of 64 passes for 66%. Attempted one dribble and was successful at it. Won five out of ten aerial duels and three out of three attempted tackles. Five clearances and one interception. And by the way, took a shot, which was also off target. Pretty good game for Wilfred and Diddy. Another Super Eagle player that got into that game was Ademola Lukman. Came into the game at the beginning of the second half. Had 15 touches in the game. 10 out of 11 passes completed for 91%. Made one key pass and was a pretty good cameo for Ademola Lukman. Also on Tuesday, Union Berlin hosted St. Pauli in the German Cup quarterfinals. That match ended 2-1 in favor of Union Berlin. Union Berlin, of course, has Tawa Awoni on their books. And he played 65 minutes in that game. And he was actually involved in the first goal for his team. He actually did most of the work. Then the ball bounced to his teammate who put it into the back of the net. Pretty good appearance by Tawa Awoni. And his team move on to the semifinals of the competition where they do have a pretty good chance of winning it all you have the two biggest teams in Germany not in the competition anymore in Dortmund and Bayern and this is a good opportunity for Awoni and his side also on the pitch from the beginning of the game was a player that's actually on the last video I just made a feast I read move play 45 minutes in the game not sure why they took him out but he did play 45 minutes and did take this picture with Tyro Woni at the end of the match. Nice to see. Moving on, we go to Wednesday's game. Moses Simon and Nant hosted Monaco in the French Cup semifinals. Match ended up being won by Nant. Moses Simon was the hero of the day, scored the clinching penalty for a side. Pretty cool for him to do that. The match ended up 2 all after 120 minutes played. Moses Simon was involved in both goals. The first goal was a ball that was actually being directed to him the defender cut it off and it went into his own net for an own goal and the second one Moses Simon put the ball in the area I'll be honest I don't know if it was a shot but either way he put the ball in the area his teammate got it and put it into the back of the net so yes he was involved in both goals heavily involved all day for his team and well deserved for him and not they go to the French Cup finals where they will play Nice hopefully he brings the trophy back home another Another game that happened on Wednesday was aimed by taking on Remo Stars, and in that match you had Super Eagles goalkeeper John Noble get his first start since the AFCON, actually his first start of the season. I would have thought that he was going to be the top goalkeeper of the team seeing that he plays for the Super Eagles. But I guess the coach had other ideas. His team won the game by two goals to one. Had a pretty strong performance in the match. Couldn't get a clean sheet, but you really can't blame him too much for conceding a penalty. Next, we move to Thursday where Cheeto Ziawazim and Alliance Sport took on Gaziantep. Match ended 2-1 in favor of Alliance Sport. Cheeto Zia came into the match at the 105-minute mark. Actually got a yellow card two minutes later, but he helped his team see a way to victory and they move on to the next round of the competition. 
Also on Thursday, we have Odeon Gallo and Al Hilal taking on Al Nasser. Match ended up 4-0 in favor of Odeon Gallo's side. He got a goal and he got an assist in the match. Played 84 minutes in the game, assisted the second goal of the game, and scored the fourth goal of the game for his team in the 75th minute. And so that was how our Super Eagles players performed during the week. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.